My name is Stephanie Alla. I am the Associate Director of Artistic Planning at the Houston Symphony. Tony Desaire is a very frequent face that you will see on this Jones Hall stage. Audience loves him, the musicians love him. He is a fantastic singer, songwriter, pianist, and I feel like the audience just connects, to, connects with him whenever he's on stage. He feels very passionate about all the music that he, that he sings, and especially for this program, uh, we're going to feature one of his favorite singers and uh, somebody that I believe that he connects with very well, Frank Sinatra. Uh, so hopefully the audience will enjoy this just as much as his other programs and really connect with him in the same meaningful way. Frank Sinatra is certainly one of the most iconic singers of all time. Uh, I would attribute that to many things. Um, one being his charisma on stage. Uh, he really has that connection with the audience and really draws them in. Another would just be his sheer involvement in the process of working with songwriters and lyricists and really putting his own kind of touch onto everything that he does. He also was involved in some political movements. So he was an advocate of equality and tried to really advocate for a lot of African-American musicians. And overall, I think he just really put a staple on that, on that pop genre that people after him, they've, they've followed and they wouldn't have done that without him. And his music still lives on today. So a big band is a little bit different than a symphony orchestra. Um, the big band does not have string instruments. It has saxophones, it has brass, it has a rhythm section, including a piano, a, a drum kit, and a bass, and of course a singer. Um, this is kind of the ensemble that uh, Frank Sinatra would sing with throughout his entire career, especially in the 1940s when swing became very big. So this is a great opportunity for the Houston Symphony Big Band to really pay homage to Frank Sinatra and where his roots were.